Hey guys, welcome back to the Colcom Daily Question Podcast. I'm Jeff. I'm Lewis. Okay, today we're once again going to look at some of the questions and topics that are often discussed at Colcom. What's our topic today, Lewis? Experiences. Okay, so you're going to learn a lot about our history, guys. <laughs> so let's get and let's get going and jump right in. Uh, number one, what do you think of the recent job market changes, and how have they affected your work experience? Um, I think. Job market changes in terms of like technology, mm -hmm. um, taking over jobs is sort of made my work more, actually, hang on. I think the job market changes mm -hmm. uh, with like technology have made work easier mm -hmm. if you like using computers and. Right, uh, well, the job market's changed, so I feel out of date for one okay. thing. Yeah, because now, yeah, technology is replacing a lot of the simple jobs. Yeah. Um, I've been in Korea for 17 years, so and I spend like 10 of it uh, la like as an English teacher, just teaching kids English and adults English, and then like I was a student, and now I work as an actor. If I wanted to enter the job market, I wouldn't really know what to do. Right. I don't have a LinkedIn page. Okay. I, I go on, I can't do, uh, do places still take resumes? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think these days it's like yeah. the social media yeah. Uh, so, channel. Yeah, so I, yeah, it's, I, I'm scared of the how much the job market's changed and how like I'm a, a dinosaur. I feel like right. I'm also, I don't know. And, and I don't have any, many computer skills. So, and if I, I also don't, if I do want to do it, I don't look forward to trying to learn about computers and how, okay. them, how it's changed to catch up. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm scared. What do I think about it? I don't like it. <laughs> but uh, can you read number two? Yeah. So what is one experience in your life you'll never forget? And how did it shape you? Oh, geez. One, one experience in my life that I'll never forget. Uh, and how did it? I guess like... Uh, uh, that love, like, I guess, like, the first time I was broken up with. Okay. Like, so, like, I, I was dumped, and that, like, I, like, I was in the, I was just blind to the relationship, and, like, right. uh, like how, how the person that I was dating had dated before, I was late to the dating scene. Yeah. So, I didn't, I didn't start dating until I was 18, so, but, uh, I, so I was late, and then I just had my heart broken, because I just, and like that really changed me this is like that someone can actually you know uh hurt me so much sure with, with not even being physical like uh, the emotional yeah, just the yeah. Emotional. so that's one experience i'll never forget is like the first time my heart was broken okay how that's about, good what experience that that you'll never forget and how did it shape you um for me probably the first time i traveled abroad mm -hmm. um sort of realize there's more to the world than yeah. just your city or town that you're used to. Mm -hmm. um, so now I have a passion for traveling. Okay, cool. Yeah. And uh, I did like, I also was late to traveling and now I'm kind of like, now like I'm kept in my forties, I'm catching the travel bug and like, on uh, board, yeah. and I, I'm like, well, maybe I do like one, maybe I should work towards like even just living out of a suitcase and experiencing the mm. whole world. Uh, I have a similar, yeah, that, me too, I feel that they also travel and shape me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, number three, have you had experiences interacting with people from different cultures? Of course. Uh, and how did it broaden your understanding of the world? Um, like I say, with traveling, like yeah. coming to Korea, for example, yeah. is a completely different culture mm -hmm. and way of life to the UK. Yeah. So... I think it helps you understand like how people live mm -hmm. and what's respectful mm -hmm. or rude. Um, so I think it sort of broadened my understanding of yeah. like different beliefs. I, like for me, like I grew up in Canada, and so Canada is very multicultural. And like some mm. people might say, oh, "Yeah, oh, I'm I'm German, I'm Polish, I'm I'm British, I'm French." but I'm Italian, but then you talk to this guy like, oh, you're Italian? Where are you from in Italy? It's like, oh, no, 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 I'm not from Italy. 
It's like, oh, what, are your parents? Like, no, my grandmother is, though. Okay. So I was like, you're, okay, so you're Italian by, like, third gen, you're a third <laughs> generation Canadian, second generation Canadian. Yeah. And like, but you're not really, but then actually meeting authentic Italians here in the accent, like, so, right. so that's really broad and just, and like, even seeing uh, how they think, how they interact with each other, their customs. Yeah. Is, it's kind of cool and so it's really like opened my eyes like wow there's like so many different people than this small little bubble that sh sorry <laughs> sorry guys this small little bubble that i i grew up around when i was in toronto right so yeah it's actually experience and like yeah uh, it's like now i feel the yeah i feel like a a small fish in a big pond well before oh, yeah. it was like a big fish in a small pond right yeah so uh, yeah that's my thing do you want to read number four yeah, sure. So how have your interests and hobbies evolved over time based on your experiences? Mm, so um, I like when I was a kid, like my I was like all into like uh, comic books and like fantasy video games and fantasy novels like Dungeons and Dragons. So I developed like hobbies like that, too. So I did like uh, I, I like fantasy movies. So, you know, I, I, I studied like some sword fighting stuff, oh, just, yeah. uh, that. And then I, I, I even did like some like fantasy role playing. Uh, but then, you know, as I grew up, I started to and got older. I really I, I gave up those hobbies and started new ones. Right. So right now I'm at a crossroads because I don't really have many hobbies. I kind of limited myself to it. Like, I guess like now, but I'm, my hobby is like doing stand up comedy. So like mm. I really try to immerse myself in that. So I, li I try to listen to at least one stand up a day. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how have your interests and hobbies evolved over time? Um, I think for me, like these days I'm into cooking, mm -hmm. like different cuisine from different places. Mm -hmm. um, what's your, what's your, uh, st what's the one dish that you can make the best? I'd say tikka masala. Ooh, wow. That sounds yummy. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I think, yeah, like when I was younger, I thought cooking's for old people. Yeah. Not, but yeah, I think it's just relaxing and mm. interesting. Yeah. There's something. Yeah. I, I also like, uh, I, I feel calm when, yeah, when I'm cooking just, yeah. Yeah. It's just fun. Yeah. Be in front of like just stirring the pot or a grill, just flipping the meat. Right. Yeah, it's very relaxing for me. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. All right. Uh, number five, uh, how many, uh, how have major life events or turning points influenced your values and priorities? Oh, I think coming to Korea, yeah. to be honest, um, I think that was a big turning point mm -hmm. in my life. Yeah. Um, just as COVID hit mm -hmm. um, is when I come to Korea. Mm -hmm. So I decided, you know, quit what I'm used to, safety. Yeah. And okay. <laughs> so wait, now you're just like YOLO? <laughs> um, I think like being furloughed at the time yeah. from home made me realize like actually working in an office isn't for me mm -hmm. um, and like to get out and experience different things. I did. Yeah. I, it, yeah. I was like 25 when I realized that I, office life wasn't for me. Right. Uh, but I, I think also that might be genetic because my brother and my father had the exact same thing. Okay. The, their midlife, their midlife crisis was quit in their office job yeah. to do something hands on and work more outside. Sure. Um, yeah, I get uh, similar to you. Yeah. My, like, me coming to Korea was a big, uh, turning point of, uh, in my life. It's, this was actually the first time I was on a plane. Okay. Okay. This is, I, I also like first time experience in a foreign culture. Mm -hmm. Um, I came with also my, my, my ex too. So like it's first time traveling with a significant other. Right. Um, but it's also, yeah, like, well, as I said, like it's, it's all, I, that's the point in my life where I became, went from the big fish in a small pond to the small fish in a big pond. Yeah. So now it's like, oh, okay. Like now I'm out in the whole, I'm out in the world without a safety net yeah. away from my family. So yeah. So it's a big turning point that influenced me a mm. lot. And now I'm still doing it. <laughs> yeah. It must've worked out. Yeah. Great. Um, how about, uh, can you read number six? Sure. So please share positive or negative experiences related to technology that has impressed you. 
I mean, okay, something that's impressed me, the positives and negatives of it. Um, I guess like the autumn, uh, the self checkout stuff that's at stores. Oh yeah. So that's always changing. Um, I mean, it's made it more like it's more convenient because now it's easier for you to uh, to go through the line or queue as you guys. Right. Are. It's so it's a faster queue time, faster lineup time. Um, but it's also like removed. So now like someone's job like that mm. also took away someone's job. And it's also very inconvenient because if there's a problem that you, you still have to then call a, a staff to come right. over and fix it. So, but I'm impressed with it, but uh, it's, it's annoying at sometimes. And I think even some play, like some stores in America that went self checkout mm. now are t starting to go back to uh, personal checkout because there's just like too much theft. Okay. Yeah. So Do you I, miss that human interaction? Yeah, I, I like the human action. Like, well, in Korea, even though like you have a human uh, uh, staff behind the the counter, they're not very v verbal. But right. I remember what like. One last year or the la or the year before that when I was in Canada and I went into the bookstore, just someone going, hi, did you find everything you were looking uh, yeah. for? I'm like going, you guys, that's right, you guys can talk. <laughs> right. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, that, I like that friendly face-to-face uh, -face contact with a worker yeah. myself. Yeah, me too. Just the random batter. How about banter? Sorry. Uh, anything, any technology that's impressed you, both negative or, or positive? Uh, I think things with like Alexa or Siri mm -hmm. um, can like turn on the heating or mm -hmm. lights, like even if you're not at home. Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. And smart convenient. Home. Yeah. Smart home. So that impressed you. But is there a negative side to that? I think I don't like they can sort of listen in. Right. Um, I've you. heard about with certain companies mm -hmm. like listening in to actually like all the time. Mm -hmm. and not sort of switching it off yeah yeah because like it's scary somehow you know like what you say then it suddenly turns up in your in your feed right or like yeah uh, you're yeah so like yeah in your youtube or your suggestion box or yeah like go to you go to a coupon or amazon and suddenly there's a a product you were talking about earlier. yeah i think with my phone as well like yeah. you say if i'm talking about a trip or yeah. an item and then scrolling through social media and then Oh, yeah, that's what I've been talking about. Yeah, it's a, okay. Uh, yeah, your uh, what's the word? Algor Alg yeah, algorithm. Yeah. Algorithm. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's, you're right, that's scary. You got a point there. Uh, the next one, uh, please share a cherished family experience. Ooh, um, I think when I was younger, we'd have mm -hmm. a lot of, like, family picnics yep. uh, for birthdays. Mm-hmm. Um, or like grandma's birthday. Um, it's like the whole family would come. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, that's a cherished experience. Yeah. Like, yeah, so, it's, oh, you like, there's the Sunday dinners that are always yeah. got popular or, you know, like a holiday dinner, Christmas dinner, Thanksgiving dinner for the North American people, New Year's dinner, um, a memory. Actually, what, what's funny, it's like a cherished memory, I guess, Nat, these days is like on my mother's birthday, still everyone comes over to uh, my mother's birthday because my mother loves Chinese food. Okay. So everyone comes over to have Chinese food on my mother's birthday. Nice. Yeah, so that's kind of a cherished moment. I, it's been a couple of years since I was around to be there. Mm. And uh, it didn't happen this year because my sister's away on a, a figure skating tournament trip. So. But there's not, I want, uh, hopefully I could be home uh, 2024, oh no, sorry, it's 2020. She just had it last week. 2025, <laughs> next year, for that, that custom, that memory too. Yeah. But yeah, like anything, really just doing stuff together. I mean, yeah, cherish memories. I guess also going to my grandmother's house, because we would do a road trip. It would be like a day oh, yeah. and a half trip. Just sightseeing, driving, we would... Uh, the family would just be in the back of the pickup truck right and then two people in the front of the pickup truck and nice so yeah i always love road trips with my family yeah good bonding special memories yeah uh do you want to try number eight yeah so please share an experience where a piece of art whether visual musical or liberty deeply resonated with you uh jesus Art, uh, uh, art, a piece of art or music. Um, 
I guess uh, there's a song by the band Slipknot. Mm. Um, it's called like Snub. Okay. Um, but it's uh, it's I think yeah it was it's more like a ballad and like I it, it it's better because Slipknot is like like grunt like heavy metal but like it's, right. it, it sounds good. But it's about a uh, one of their members who commits suicide because like he had like a bad mm. breakup. So it's uh, like it so oh, that really resonates with me whenever like I have a make a a, a breakup with a girl. Oh, yeah. So like it's a, the, the the lyrics in that song really like really speak to my soul. Yeah. And like even that like I've had moments like some people even have heard this song too and they go, I know I like this song. It's the, this is also my breakup song too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how about you? What things have has there ever been a time where a piece of art, something created, resonated with you? Sure. I'm, I'd probably say Linkin Park. Okay. Uh, I think Numb, the yeah. song. Um, the lyrics behind that are quite mm -hmm. touching and meaningful. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, music. Yeah, music, yeah, really, like, clicks on memories and, like, someone, like, an art, like, it's like poetry, really. It right. really resonates with your emotions. Uh, number nine, please share a dream or aspiration uh, that is filled by your past experiences and the lessons you've learned. I would like to visit every country mm -hmm. before I'm too old to do so. Mm -hmm. I think travel before has given me a passion mm -hmm. and that's the fuel behind that dream. Mm -hmm. So um, for me, because I like stand-up comedy and I... I've started doing it and getting better and better. Like I feel like uh, actually if I just push myself a little bit more and try that I actually can achieve it. Yeah. I just have to, I'm, I'm just, sadly I'm scared to do it because it's a big leap of faith. Right. And I don't know and like it doesn't, it's a, it's a big dream that not many people achieve. So I, I want to, I don't want to jump in it and fail right away. Have you tried like locally? Yeah, yeah. I have like I do like comedy shows like at least once a week. Okay. And then, uh, right now I'm in Daegu. Maybe I'll see if there's a place that might want to host a comedy show yeah. down here too. So I'll ask. I'll ask some people the Daeguites. Uh, <laughs> what's good? And nice. our final question. Uh, go ahead. Can you read? Yeah. So what experiences from your past evoke a strong sense of nostalgia? And why do they hold sentimental value for you? Mm. Oh, I guess you know, uh, from my past. Uh, well, like yeah, songs like yeah, like Linkin Park, like you mentioned, like bring like, back memories because around that time, I could remember like singing these songs with my friends. Yeah. So music a lot, like brings back uh, a lot of nostalgia. That just like the, when I was young and, and naive and just <laughs> didn't do any, didn't really know how evil the world was yeah um i guess uh when i eat a food like mm. yeah so like that brings back yeah like when i have like a special type of food uh it, it brings back memories of the good times i had so, right yeah so uh like or like yeah if i go home and i go to my normal hangout spot like on oh yeah i remember doing this yeah like going coming here after school having like a turkey burger and all uh, that okay stuff. So yeah, I always like to walk down memory lane whenever I'm home because mm. that brings back memories I had of uh, times. Uh, I think that's times. good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you have any experience? Uh, what experiences invoke uh, nostalgia for you? Um, I think yeah, through food as yeah. well. Like certain foods bring back certain memories. Mm -hmm. um, maybe it's like family recipes or places that I've been to. Mm -hmm. um, so I think definitely food can speak. Right. To me. Yeah, yeah, food, yeah, because also, like, uh, food has, uh, like, a, a, a sense, the, like, the smell of the food even brings back memories. Yeah. Right? Like, sen your sense of smell is uh, strongly related to your memory. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, like, if I have dim sum, yeah, I just imagine, yeah, like, oh, yeah. like when I move, my old roommate just chilling there and I'll go, coming Good back. Good times. And, got a concert like we when we went to a concert and then afterwards everyone was hungry oh yeah yeah 
right. Uh, but anyways, that's enough of walking down memory lane <laughs> for me. Um, I hope you're satisfied as well. Yeah. Um, but if you have more questions about Qualcomm, you could search them up on Instagram. Okay. And that's it for today. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.